Crispy have, going yeah, once, buddy. Alright, he's AFK. Kick that was the guy that was right. asking for I know, computers. but he's not answering. Yeah, I know. That's fine. Fluffer, do you he want your, the Rifleman AA in 1-1 one, one Delta? As, just in case. You should probably take it. Yeah. Alright, All right, I'm pretty happy. happy. No perimeter, bro, no parameters, correct? No. Okay, yeah, let's go. Alright, punch it. Unless adapter is on. Alright. So quick AR, last mission. Proceed. Um, like I said, we went complete, so that was good. Um, somebody told me that it was never finished before or something. I don't know. Anyways, as far as the execution thing goes, uh, the big problem was that gas. I don't know if I missed it in the briefing or something, but that really fucked us over. Especially the technical issues as far as like having the mask on and being disabled and having to do like several times. Either way, we, you know, we did proceed, so I guess that paid off. Um, that also kind of created a lot of confusion on the net. But like I said, uh, I saw good stuff as far as people stepping up. That was a huge thing. I think Delta stepped up and a couple other people. Uh, um, and it seems like we avoided. Like I don't know if there was any friendly fire, maybe like once or twice, but we avoided that and um, you know destroyed all the enemy uh, the only thing I guess like I said for the future mission would be just to fix that technical issue and we were really not like done with the uh, AO so uh, we completed that I don't know but I guess that's up any like Comment? feedback from anyone else yeah um, armor advanced ahead of infantry and got taken out yeah well that's uh, individual clear, uh, or small level Hey, it's Korax, if you're still here. What, uh, what happened to your tank? Guess he's oh, not speak here, but he's not here. I was the driver. Um, well, we got the call, you know, he got the call that the infantry was pushed up. We pushed up. Turns out all the all squads were pushed up except the one nearest to us. So, mm. RPG gunner hit us from the side. Yeah, it's okay. supposed to be SPG on the contracted uh, side. Probably. Yeah, we killed it. Oh, like it. Oh, that. All right. Yeah. yeah, like I said, I mean, there's obviously room for improvement. The intent was infantry screen in front and then armor in the back, or so. But um, what did I want to say? Yeah, basically, uh, uh, yeah, intent was infantry in front. Yeah, we had some big gaps in the, between those squads right. also. I, yeah, that's what I wanted to say. That was, yeah, that was that was not easy because like we had only four squads to cover all that and getting online you know you really like the squad leaders especially had to pay attention okay is that they're a friendly squad below me or things like that so I would say for the most part we did that but yeah he missed that RPG guy to the rear that shot somebody at the end <laughs> yeah like I would say like the gas thing like made things a lot lot more difficult as they should be so I, I would say as far as the confusion goes I didn't ex anticipate that and that you know was visible a bit. As for the whole, your gas masks being on and you were still choking, blame Ace. Once yeah. your gas masks are on, you're supposed to be, you're supposed to no longer be affected. However, Ace has a tendency to kind of already have started the system of you choking, even with yeah. your gas. So it doesn't matter if you have your gas mask on, you go into the paralyzed on the floor, and that's something you can't fix unless the in Ace. Yeah, that was. Yeah, no, I and the one yeah, we had like the notes about the gasket because, to be fair, it was one of those they had no idea that it was going to be used. Yeah. By the way, Even. Josh. Right. Yes. Um, spelling mistake for you. You don't have idea. Okay. Then you may Gosh, need to ask know. the next. You may need to come into the second one of Sasha. How much do we need that? Because if we don't have it, we don't have a GM console. So. I mean, it could tell you how to game it. No. So we don't. We just need to know whether we need it or not, because if we don't have it, and we might lose the game but without it. it depends. Okay, it depends if you take out the pilots or not. Okay. That's basically it. Um, just as far as the last mission, yeah. Uh, I understand the gas yeah, stuff. At the one point we had like two squads on the ground. But like I said, since we were able to fix it, I decided to continue, so I guess that was fine. So any input from anyone else, like anything good you liked or anything you didn't? Who took my spot? 
pick what? another one, dude. Okay, you know what? That whole you took my spot issue. It's not an issue. It's not a reserved event. It's not. If you take your slot, it's your slot. If you have a connection issue, and you drop out of the server, that slot is open and for grabs. If you have Zerg brief, you may ask politely, but in game, in the middle of it, you can't. It just doesn't work for that. And screaming on TeamSpeak or chat or whatever doesn't help it at all. Just poke the person on TS and then ask nicely. Do you want to switch? I have no idea who took it though. Just go back in the brief and, and the slot is screen. Just go take another one. Yeah, just take something else. Hey, do I have, uh, I have so, what, three sections total? Is that correct? Uh, yes. And fourth squad leader. Yeah, you have to get two guys. Hmm. I think I'm gonna change the plan here. What I wanted to say is, I don't know, like, from personal, how it looked like, like, from the fucking rifleman, as far as how fast we moved, or, but, you know, we're really, as far as on what to improve, it's just, like I said, the radios were a little boggled. So all we need is, like, you know, we're moving to Delta, we're moving to Charlie, set, 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 and we continue. That's all we need. So the faster we can do that, the faster we will continue. I like that most squads uh, stay, actually stayed online, more or less. Which yeah. was nice. Like, that's the first time I've, well, one of the few rare times I've actually seen that. Uh, Fluffer, did you have a short range with you? Hold on. I don't think he did. I do. Yes, I do. I have a 343. No, 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 no. Previous mission. Oh, no, I did not. He did. He did. Oh, okay. I swear you were on my short range once, Fluffer. No, it was not. Trust me. <laughs> That's okay, because you were clogging up the net a little bit with trying to coordinate with somebody. Yeah, it would be nice to have a short range, but yeah, it's. We're all pretty much clusterfucked on one net. I was, uh. I was one squad lead, and I went down. I was really happy that people actually grabbed my radio and yeah. took the spot. That was good. Yeah. yeah. One, one three. I apologize for taking so long to get to you guys as medic. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to find you, man. I was, finally did. I didn't realize you guys were that far south. Yeah. Yeah. There was a lot of individual initiatives, so that was really good uh, on that part. Like I said. Um, it can be obviously done faster uh, and so on and there's obviously little small little details that can be done maneuvering and now uh, we have contact which squad maneuvers but that's a lot of things and like you said Mas, I was happy with people not friendly firing each other and being online and I mean I think you know if you lead being able to just pull that off and having some graphical control measures and things like that it's just gonna be gonna pay out like when they're calling in the contact, you guys are online, you know, okay, they're there, they're calling in front of them, that's there. And you're avoiding friendly fires. Who's my JTAC? Overlord. Plot me a west east run along the Koi DZ. Do you see it? Da, do, 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 do. Northwest of uh, the airfield. Do you guys see my marks? Yeah. Negative. Yes. Okay. It, uh, okay, here we go. Anyway. Alright, so what do you want your ingress? West east.
three hours, holy shit. Yeah. Because that's gonna be the last mission then. Yay. I can't imagine it'll take that long. Yeah. We're all either gonna die or have glorious success. <laughs> I think the latter. I, I wanna die. I wanna die yeah. trying to choke a, a last Russian. <laughs> Did not Banzai? Like see a lot. Yeah. Are we pair dropping? Yeah. Fun. Last time I pair dropped, I forgot to pull the cord. Should be using T10s. Let's not do that. Last time I did yes, a power yeah, drop that. mission, we didn't drop, we just landed on the uh, airfield. <laughs> oh my god, bit more that's ballsy. That's ballsy. <laughs> so that operation came in like a wrecking ball, if I recall correctly. Yep. Two, oh. two C-130s just landing on a hostile airfield, everybody dismounting, blowing shit up, getting back in the planes and flying away. Was that the British one? Yeah, I think that was the uh, feather in Aqua Fresh's cap. The I was quite time I that did that mission, the C-130 mm -hmm. crashed. Well, one of them did. Well, Josh, I don't know if you're talking about the aerosol, but uh, last time you did a para drop, it was a herb mission. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was the last time I did a para drop, and that was that was terrible. <laughs> Enemy and was that the herb mission you. with uh, the mortars that followed the, the platoon yep. leader around? Yeah. <laughs> you firing, you already had fire missions landing before you actually got to the ground. You're still in parachutes, yep. getting hit by shrapnel. I like that picture you made. Identify the enemy. And Overlord, if you can, start marking TRPs along, uh... in Fastberg and the, uh, the main hangar area, please. Roger. Okay. Alright, one section, two section, three section, you guys all here? One. Fuck. Three. Mm, not everybody speak up at once, please. Three. Alright, I guess we'll have to wait for two. I said fuck. Hey, <laughs> how about you <laughs> go fuck yourself, Sedic? Love you too. Yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> Alright. I didn't know you slotted. Um, Neither did I. Cool. Awesome. Alright, so this is a game plan. If you guys see the overall mission plan, uh, expect that to go out the fucking door as soon as we hit the ground. But we're going to brief it anyway, so it sounds cool. Um, we're going to fucking mount up. We're going to take two C-130s. We're going to land on the Koi DZ. From there, one section is going to basically... The rally point is going to be that big-ass... Uh, like This will be the rally point. Koi rally point's going to be just uh, to the west of the one section BOF. So essentially what's going to happen is we're going to land in the DC. Everybody's going to fucking hightail it straight to, where the, uh, to the Koi rally point. One section, as soon as you get there, you're going to set up the BOF. And uh, obviously you're going to be weapons yellow until I give you guys clearance to engage. If you guys see anything in the open, call it out. But you're pretty much going to be the, the security at that point. Once you secure that tree line, let me know. I'm going to maneuver two section, three section north uh, into the the adjacent tree line to the east. From there, two section will establish the ABF. They're uh, waiting for one section to move up in the rear. They're, they'll be the main assaulting element. Once uh, two section is cons basically completed, uh, two section has set up. They've started to engage and one section's moving in. We're gonna take out all those pilots. Two section's gonna set up another BOF from that point, basically establishing its uh, south security on the on objective Russian. Um, one section and three section will collapse, consolidate from there, and then we'll move on to uh, PL Green. Phase line Green is going to be the main assault of the airfield and Fastberg itself. 
Um, but primary mission is to take out the Russian uh, helicopters and the, or the pilots so they can't get to the helicopters. Alright. Once we've uh, secured the objective Russian and two section BOF has been established, I'm going to maneuver one section and three section across the field in the open and they're going to set up in the forest uh, at the respective markers. Uh, three sec is going to be in the reserve at that point, uh, hanging out relatively close to one section. Um, once we have established at the PL Green and we're ready to move on to the next phase of the mission, we'll begin by assaulting the airfield. Three section will probably more than likely set up uh, southeast security for us, it's maybe along TRP4. That's probably what I'm thinking, and a blocking maneuver or blocking position. Uh, waiting for any mechanized armor or anything like that to move in to the northeast. Uh, it'll be pretty overwhelming, so expect two section to be pretty flexible moving up in line with you guys. It'll be pretty spread out and pretty much like a platoon line facing southeast from there. Uh, once that's complete, I don't know if we're going to be able to maneuver in through the forest and then hit from three section BOF's marker towards uh, Objective Fastberg. We'll see, we'll play it by ear from there. Uh, first and foremost mission is, like I said, objective version. Once we're set with that, expect to plan the change. Um, the pre-drop supplies, we might have time to hit that. I'm not sure. The only one that I see that's relatively close is north of the DZ. Um, I might send a runner up there, maybe like a two-man team to go check it out. Uh, but that's at a predetermined date once we hit the DZ. I'll make that decision. Uh, as far as the loading plan for the C-130, It'll be pretty much uh, one section. We'll we'll do one drop at a time. Uh, we'll have the second C-130 in a holding pattern while the first one drops, and then the second one will go in. Uh, expect We're down one. To one bird, unless we have a replacement pilot. Is that true? Did we get a replacement pilot or what? Uh, we did get a yeah. I'm second. We got two birds. Well, okay. uh, no, it was Slider and Rambo, and we've only got Rambo now. Is so now Slider still here on my screen? He's taken off, mate. Okay. Oh, I disregard Fluffer, continue. Say again? Uh, sorry, anyway, we'll figure that out later. Please continue, I'm sorry. Alright. Uh, the, the load plan for the planes are going to be as follows. One section will load in the first C-130, two section will load in the second C-130. This is to establish uh, a redundancy in case one gets shot down or something fucking happens, which it always does every mission. Uh, so not everybody is in the same fucking C-130. So HQ will ride in the first, uh, first, first C-130, which will more than likely get shot down, but we're going to yellow it. So we'll be riding in the first one. We're going to hit the DZ first. Once we're on the ground, the second uh, the second C-130 will make their run, drop. We're going to consolidate at the Koi Rally Point, wait for three section to move up. Uh, actually, C-130 is going to land three section with the fourth, uh, uh, four section jip. We'll load up in two C-130s. You guys will land uh, together, or er, take off together, drop at the same time for the second go. All right. So, just to recap, one section will load in the first C-130, two sections second C-130. One C-130 will drop first. The second will make their run after the first, uh, first squad has secured the DZ. You guys will RTB, pick up the second group, drop them off, and then get in the, a the F-35s or A-10s or whatever the fuck it is, and then provide cast from the JTAC, which will be uh, Overlord. Alright. That's the gist. Any questions so far? Yes. Question from one. Go. What about the uh, pair drop supplies just to the northeast of the Koi DZ? Yeah, like I said... Once we get to the DZ, depending on how it looks, and we get to your BOF, while we're waiting for three section to drop, I might send maybe a fire team up there to go uh, actually secure the pre-drop supplies and see what's in there. Okay, cool. I have two seconds from uh, two questions from three section. Yep. Uh, number one, the various deployed BMPs and BTRs. And all of our AT supplies will be in that uh, pre job supplies we did not spawn for. Okay, yeah, I figured as much, but like I said, we'll have to play by ear. If we get on the ground and we're able to get to the pre drop supplies, obviously we're going to try and get there. Um, if not, we'll have to rely on the air to take out the fucking the BMPs and stuff. I'm going to do everything I can to get you those pre drop supplies because I really want those ATs, but uh, you never know what's going to happen, so just be flexible. And uh, the second question is, what 
plane is uh, free section getting in. You'll load up in the uh, first C-130 that lands. Okay. So we're in the second run. Yes. Okay. Alright. As far as the uh, parachutes are concerned, we should be using T-10s. Yeah, what's your question? So this is uh, pilot, second pilot. Um, I see a couple markers here, the C-130 run-in, and then the obviously green light, the uh, red light stuff. Um, so you said that one section per bird, even yes. if we, you don't want to fit everything? Okay. No, because if we fucking lose one bird, then that's like half the, yeah. half the company, so. Yeah, I understand. Alright, cool. In fact, Thanks. the the two I see will more than likely ride in the second helicopter or the second uh, C-130 with the JTAC. JTAC will be in the second C-130. I'll ride in the first one. That way, we have a little bit of redundancy. As far as the C-130s run in or how you get to your red, yellow, and green uh, lights is your complete discretion. How you get there, just don't be fucking stupid and fly like over the you know fly over the airfield, turn around, and then use some logic there. It's your up to you. Yeah. Um. Other than that, when you make your egress, just go straight to the east and then go south, or go to the north and then circle around. Hey, uh, according to my group chat, apparently Xenocide had a weapons malfunction already, and Bill is dead. So Bill has to spawn in dead, that's it. Yeah, I died. Okay, really well, I mean, what do you want to do? Uh, just have him reslot once we get into the game, I guess? Sure. We'll play it out. Alright, so like I said, phase one, uh, PL White is the primary objective. Once we get there, we'll figure it out from there. Um, but expect the second phase to go. Uh, we'll see what the casualties look like. Alright, uh, COM6 per the card. Uh, there is no delta net, so we're all going to be on long range one. B1 section, 2 section, 3 section. Air will be on uh, the air net. Sorry, you said who chipped in as 2IC for one section and Charlie? That would be sad guy. Okay, I'm cool. I'm so cool right now. Is that because you're a polar bear? It is. Thank you for Alright, knock it off. Fluffer, right. uh, you good? Yeah, as far as the, uh, the naming, it'll be... I'll be zero, one section, two section, three section. And then the peel is whatever. You're a wolf, apparently. Yeah, I'm not doing that shit. All right, no further questions. You guys ready? Radio checks at uh, what's the time now? 2200. So we'll do radio checks uh, no later than 2210. Right on time. All right, no questions. I'm ready to go in. Take it in three, two, one. Hey, Milton.